We found out why the battery cable was cut. Because they shut the alarm off and stole this man's Cadillac converter. Fucking thieves everywhere. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video is showing you how to use the battery splice connectors. All right, guys, you can see that this battery cable was cut where they cut it and stole the battery and stole the Cadillac converter. So what we're doing is we're actually extending the battery cable so it can fit back onto the battery. So they sell these things at AutoZone or Advanced Auto. It's a battery repair splice kit. Now, once we have it on, it'll look like this. And you can see it, it extends it and makes it a lot longer. But we got to do a couple things first. And we're going to start by stripping some of this insulation off the wire. But be careful because we just want to get the insulation off. We actually don't want to cut the wire. So you cut it back and it'll look like this. Go ahead and grab the other positive cable. We're going to go ahead and strip the insulation off this one as well. Remember, be careful. We don't want to cut none of the wires. Now we're going to take our positive cable that we cut back and we're going to slide it right into the splice connector. We're going to take our little tool that came with the connector kit. We're going to tighten it up just like this. And that cinches everything together. And for some of you watching this video, that is all you'll need to do and you're done. But some of you, you'll have a second red positive cable like we do here. And if you have the second cable, this is what we need to do. The first thing you'll try is to put it into the splice connector. They have a spot for you to put it in there. And if it fits, great, but ours didn't fit, so we had to adapt and overcome. So what we did was cut the piece off our splice connector, go ahead and cut the insulation off to expose the wires, about a half inch back like we did with the other ones. And take your time with this, because we don't want to cut the wires at all, and we want to make sure we get all the plastic off, so when we go to splice them together, that it makes good contact. So once we get this one all set up, just like that, we're going to go ahead and move over to this one. Now we've already cut it, but that's if it would have fit into the splice connector, but it didn't. So now we have to cut this back a little more because we're going to be splicing this together with the positive cable. Here, I'm showing you how to splice them together. We're making an X with them. And we're simply just going to overlap each other. But nice and tight. And you're going to keep doing that. Do one turn and hold it. Another turn. And we're just going to keep turning it till it's nice and tight. And there's no way we can turn it anymore. Once you do that, you're going to bend it back on itself. Now we're going to go ahead and put the new battery in. Got to put our positive cable on first. So go ahead and line that up. Grab your 10 millimeter and you tighten that down. Then you go ahead and put your negative cable on. This one was a 13 millimeter and you tighten that down. And that's it. Job's complete. If you want, you can grab some electric tape and wrap it around and cinch it down. But that's it. But I want to show you something else. Someone broke in this man's car and stole his Cadillac converter. And it's happening every day to a lot of people. So keep an eye out on your vehicles, guys. Because it only takes about 30 seconds to cut one of these Cadillac converters off. And all right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe do so. And like always, simplify till next time.